Hi there. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're going to use EFT tapping in order to help you tap into your creative flow. My name is Marion Buck Murray. I'm a certified EFT practitioner and matrix re-imprinting practitioner. And I specialize in helping sensitive, creative, heart-centered people step out of the shadows, into their creative flow, and into the space where they can just bring more beauty into the world. And so in today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, how to access your creative flow, and then we'll use the tapping to make that even easier. All right, and so no doubt we're in an extraordinarily challenging and extraordinarily beautiful time. Uh, it's just, you know, the dark and the light together is just astounding. And my mother, uh, who turns 97 in May, has you know, she's been through a lot in her life, right? Never seen anything like this. And neither have we. Nobody's seen anything like this before. And, and the fact that this is a global situation that we're, we're experiencing makes it even more um, profound. And at the same time, so many of our familiar patterns have just been wiped out. Our routines are gone and we have to recreate our lives from what we have right now. And for some people that might be easier than other people. But the fact of the matter is, is that we are being pushed and thrust into a place where we have to be our most creative. And paradoxically, it's during a time like this when stress can be really high and fear of, you know, loss of job or illness can, can really push us to the edge of anxiety, that it can be very, very difficult to access our creative flow. And the reason why is because when cortisol is up, the major stress hormone, when anxiety is up, we, well, first of all, we, we lose blood from the thinking part of our brain. So it makes it harder to articulate and to think. But secondly, you know, what's really happening is that our nervous system goes to the fight or flight freeze part of the nervous system. And when we're in that place, uh, we, we can freeze and it can be very hard to access our flow, you know, just think about something freezing. It freezes the flow. And so in order to access our creative flow, we have to move over to the other part of the nervous system, the parasympathetic part, parasympathetic part of the nervous system that actually turns on the relaxation response. You know, so when we're over in that part of the nervous system, we feel uh, calmer and we feel more grounded and we feel safer more secure. And so what I'm going to uh, talk about and show you how to do is to more easily get to that place. And certainly all of the techniques that you're learning in this beautiful series that uh, Angela has put together, you know, all of these techniques, all of this meditation helps you get to that parasympathetic part of your nervous system so that you can, uh, respond to your life right now from a more relaxed place. Okay. And so now specifically when it comes to creativity, uh, when we're thinking thoughts and, uh, you know, thinking is great, but it has its limits. And so when we're caught maybe in a mind loop that's saying, Oh, I'll never get it done. Oh, I have no ideas. Oh, they'll reject me. It's not good enough. So-and-so does it better. Who's going to ever want to, you know, look at my stuff? Whatever it is, um, any of those thoughts, even if they're not about 
what you're trying to do creatively. If you're thinking them over and over and over again, you're going to keep yourself out of your creative flow. Even planning and analyzing. So even something where you are stuck on the details of how something should look or how you should create something. Uh, it might you might feel like you're being creative in a, in a way because you're trying to analyze how you're going to create something. But when we're using that brainwave state, we're not in the brainwave state that we need to be in order to access creativity. So when we're thinking all of those thoughts, those busy, worried, anxious thoughts, or planning and over planning and analyzing, we're in what's called the beta brainwave state. And that's a very busy brainwave state. It's very quick. And, um, and most people, usually that's where we are, uh, especially during a time when things feel more anxious, we can get stuck, you know, sort of worrying and thinking and, and trying to figure out how things are going to look once this is all over, you know, but that will keep us out of our most creative space. It's about letting go of the thoughts and that might seem really hard and it might seem counterproductive in a way because we don't want to let go of something that we're trying to do. But it's more about letting go of our grip of how things should be and moving into the alpha brainwave state, which is a more creative, productive, it's actually a more productive place, even though it's a slower brainwave. So these slower brain waves are deeper and they have space between them so that uh, those spaces open us up to access more creativity, more creative ideas, um, to higher consciousness, to ideas that we didn't even know we had or that were there, you know, to the collective consciousness. It opens us up to a much more spacious place than when we're in our busy thinking mind where we kind of close down to that. And so EFT tapping is a very useful technique along with meditation and, and other techniques that help you move to the more relaxed place. EFT uh, actually is one of the most effective techniques for reducing cortisol, the major stress hormone. So when cortisol is high again, it drains blood from the thinking part of the brain. Okay, maybe we want to bring the brain offline a little bit, but we don't want to make our brains less effective. By bringing ourselves down to that alpha level, we actually help to make our brains more effective and bring the blood back to the brain while we are accessing deeper brain states okay so we want to access those those deeper brainwave states that get locked out when we're under stress so we're opening them up by dropping down okay and so eft tapping is a really good tool for um for really uh it, you know eft stands for emotional freedom techniques and so it's a wonderful tool for releasing any anxious feelings any feelings of fear of a fear of rejection of um sadness or frustration the tapping while tuning in to a feeling will help the intensity of the feeling reduce and once we reduce the feelings the intensity of the feelings and we also lower that cortisol we have a greater access to our creative flow okay so now what I'm going to do is show you how to use EFT tapping and uh, because we will be tapping on points on the face please make sure that you've washed your hands with warm water and soap uh, for at least 20 seconds right or that you've sanitized your hands so that you're tapping with clean hands when you tap on the points on your face. Okay, so here are the tapping points. And the first point is the side of the hand, the fleshy part of the hand between the bottom of the pinky and the start of the wrist. And just tapping there with your fingertips 
and it doesn't matter which side you're tapping, which hand you're tapping on. Okay, this is the first point. And this point is a beautiful point. Just breathing deeply while tapping on this point is enough to begin to reduce cortisol and to help you feel more relaxed and reduce feelings of panic as well. Okay. Now the next point is the tip of the eyebrow where it meets the bone of the nose, just using about two fingers to tap there. Now the side of the eye, right in the corner of the eye, under, not, under the eye, right on the top of the cheekbone, under the nose, right between the nose and the lip. And it doesn't matter which side again. And you could use both hands if you want, both hands to tap on both sides. And then the chin point, which is actually between the lip and the chin in that crease. The collarbone point. So find the notch in your neck, slide your fingers over top of the collarbone and down and you should find an indentation on either side, tapping there. And if you have a hard time finding that point, just go like this. And then underneath the armpit, right on top of the rib, the top part of the rib, and then the top of the head. Okay, so that is a basic round of tapping. And you can use that round of tapping without saying anything, just tuning into that feeling that feels uncomfortable, breathing deeply, tapping through the points, and it's enough to help begin to really reduce the intensity of the feeling and lower your cortisol so you get into that alpha state. Okay, so now we're going to do a round of tapping to help you tap in to the creative flow. And what I'd like you to do is tune in right now to maybe some creative project that you'd like to do but that you're having trouble doing or maybe uh, the feeling that your ideas are kind of stuck or, you know, that you're stuck in, in ideas or thoughts that are keeping you stuck. Some discomfort or some creative resistance that you might be feeling right now. And uh, we're going to help to do some tapping to let go and drop in. Okay, so tune into that creative resistance and notice how it feels in your body. Notice where it is in your body. And if it has a color or a texture or a shape or whatever it's, you know, doing right now in your body, notice it. And if it has an intensity, uh, maybe from on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the most intense, how would you rate it? Okay, so now we're going to start tapping. You can follow along and say the words after me, or you can just relax and receive whatever feels best to you. Okay. And you can have your eyes open or closed. I will name each point as we go along. Okay. So now I'm going to say some phrases and just follow along. Breathing deeply. So even though I feel this creative resistance and sometimes I get stuck in my head I accept that that's what happens and I accept myself so even though sometimes I think too much and it's really hard to feel creative and sometimes I feel like I don't even have any ideas. I accept myself and how I feel. So even though sometimes I feel under so much pressure to be creative, and then I freeze, and I can't access my creativity, I accept what happens. I accept myself. And I accept the way that I feel. Okay, now go up to the eyebrow point. 
my creative flow. Side of the eye. When I'm stuck in my head, under the eye. I can't get there. Under the nose. I keep trying. Chin point. I keep thinking. Collarbone. I tr keep trying to figure it out. Under the arm. But nothing changes. Top of the head. I'm working so hard. Eyebrow. And still it doesn't change. Side of the eye. I want to feel creative. Under the eye. I want to access my creative flow. Under the nose. And sometimes when I try for it. Chin point. It feels so elusive. Collarbone. My creative flow. Under the arm. What if all I have to do is let go? Top of the head. Let go of trying. Eyebrow. Let go of thinking of what it has to look like. Side of the eye. Letting go of all of those thoughts. Under the eye. Just for now. Under the nose. So that I can drop down. Chin. Easily. Collarbone. Letting go. Under the arm. Into my flow. Top of the head. My creative flow. Eyebrow. All I have to do is let go. Side of the eye. I can come back whenever I want. Under the eye. But right now I'm going to let go. Under the nose. So I can access my creative flow. Chin. It's here. Collarbone. Eternal. Under the arm. Abundant. Top of the head. And it's always here within me. Okay. Now take a nice deep breath. And just tune in and tune into that creative resistance that you were thinking about in the beginning. And just notice where it is. And, uh, you know, sometimes with tapping, intensity might go up a little bit because we're tapping into the subconscious. Might go up a little bit and then it will come down. So if you still feel any residual uh, resistance, tap a little bit longer and see how that works for you. And just remember that your creative flow is always here for you. It's just about allowing yourself to let go of the thoughts that you have, of how it should look, what it should look like, what it should be. Just letting go. You can always go back to it. Letting go and dropping down. Taking that action that inspired action, and then having faith in the creative process to unfold you. Thank you so much for joining me. And blessings to you, to your loved ones. And stay safe and well. Goodbye for now.